When you stop exercising, your brain changes. When you stop exercising and indulge in a sedentary lifestyle, you're damaging all the areas of the brain that are responsible for your memory, in addition to the negative physical consequences. Most people have jobs that force them to sit for hours on end without moving. When you stop exercising in your free time, however, you're taking the sedentary lifestyle too far. Your body requires movement and exercise. It's not natural for you to be still. That's why many specialists recommend getting at least 30 minutes to an hour of exercise a day. Nevertheless, this is difficult. When you stop exercising, it's usually because you come home from work feeling tired, you're too lazy to get up early, or you've just gotten used to doing nothing. Leading a totally sedentary lifestyle not only damages your health, however, but also causes changes in the brain that you might not be aware of. Let's find out what they are. When you stop exercising, your blood flow decreases. When you exercise, it increases blood flow in your body. It's not just while you're working out, but throughout the entire day. However, it does you no good if you exercise one day and then spend a week without getting off the couch. It's essential to spread out your exercise over several days a week. Increased blood flow is very good for the brain. If you stop exercising for long periods of time, you might find yourself experiencing the following consequences. Your memory will begin to fail. Then, you'll forget what you needed to do or remember because reduced blood flow to the brain causes fewer neural connections. You'll be more susceptible to suffering from a stroke, because it can cause what's known as ischemia. When blood flow to your brain is gradually reduced it can cause irreparable damage. These are some of the consequences that occur when blood flow is reduced because you stopped exercising. Now that you know this, we should point out that you don't have to go to a gym to avoid all these complications that arise from a lack of exercise. Walking, it's best if it's outside, at least an hour a day counts as working out, as long as it becomes a regular habit that you don't avoid. In addition, remember that when you stop working out, you invite stress, anxiety, and other health problems into your life. If you can avoid all that, why not do it? Exercise is good for your brain. In addition to the consequences of not exercising for your brain, it's important to mention another set of changes that will occur if you choose to adopt a sedentary lifestyle. One of them is that the hippocampus, one of the regions of your brain that's responsible for memory, will be negatively affected. Changes can also occur in the lower parietal lobe, an area of the brain that detects emotions in other people's faces and interprets what your senses tell you. This means that your empathy and instincts can be drastically reduced if you stop exercising. Additionally, your inferior temporal lobe, which is fundamental for recognizing faces, numbers, and objects, can be affected by leading a sedentary lifestyle. At this point, it should be clear that exercise is a very good practice for your brain and that keeping it healthy doesn't take that much effort. As we've mentioned, moderate physical activity can prevent your brain from going through some negative changes. Many of these changes are irreversible and could dramatically affect you. All you need to do is ensure that your exercise is done on a regular basis. Just a few minutes a day will be enough to keep you in shape and help you enjoy better physical and mental health.